Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a good day. Today we're going to be working on this 1997 Suzuki Sidekick. Uh, we're going to attempt to polish it with the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound and the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. So basically the vehicle's been sitting out for about three years, since 2019. It's been out in the weather and the elements. Um, the hood is extremely oxidized. Um, you could see kind of where the, where the clear coat has taken a beating. Um, so we're gonna attempt to polish it with the Meguiar's product line. Um, so basically we're gonna be using the, the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound to help cut all the oxidation out. And then we're gonna polish it out with the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. And this, these um, buffing pads are from Harbor Freight. This is the finishing foam pad. And this is the, this is the, um, compound cutting pad and just uh, a regular buffer nothing special um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down the middle I'm gonna do one side with the ultimate compound and polish combined so like a two-step uh, polish right so I'm just gonna do a polish uh, to see what kind of results we get so um, without further ado let's get started So this is the first step you want to use. This helps cut through the clear and um, kind of help take off all the oxidation. You could wet sand this, but we're going to try without wet sanding it and see what happens. All right guys, this is just with the compound itself. No clay bar, no wet sand. Straight Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Right, guys this is just the ultimate polish um, right over the top no no compound so this is with the ultimate compound and this is with the ultimate polish. Right off the bat, you can tell that the compound cut some of the oxidation. You could tell just by the way it sounds, is there's very little friction versus the ultimate polish. You could tell that the compound or the polish didn't, it wasn't coarse enough to cut the oxidation. So with this one, a lot less friction so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the ultimate polish to the comp to complement the compound and see what happens
this section, I'm going to do a voiceover because my mic messed up. On this side of the hood, on the left side of the hood, we use the Ultimate Compound, the Ultimate Polish. Uh, you can still see the, the oxidation, but it turned out really nice considering we didn't wet sand it or clay bar it. On the right side, we did the just the Ultimate Polish. You could definitely see the right side has more oxidation than the left side. The left side has a deeper shine to it, and the right side has like a kind of a dull finish to it. Um, but the the ultimate compound really helps cut that clear and when you complement that with the ultimate polish uh, That's the best result you're gonna get without doing a wet sand and buff. I Went ahead and buffed the entire hood with the ultimate compound and the ultimate polish and This is the result I got You could still see some oxidation in it but considering I did not clay bar it or wet sand it, this is the best you're going to get. That Texas heat will really damage the clear coat. Quick little video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just showing you the differences between the two compounds. Uh, you could definitely tell how the uh, Ultimate Compound has a little bit more uh, cutting capabilities kind of cuts that clear a little bit better while the polish is just more like a, a finishing uh, finishing polish um, so please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one